What up everybody, it's me Blake316 here with a new video and in this video we're opening up another mystery retro vintage box and I'm telling you right now this might be the best one yet. Enough talking and let's see what's in this box right here. You can like cue some Zelda music you know every time when he opens up like a chest because as you can see there is some good stuff in this box. Let's get straight into it. As you can see, straight off the top, we have a copy of Halo 2 for the original Xbox. I can tell you right now, the reason why I got my Xbox was specifically for this game. I wanted to play Halo Online, and here it is right here. Uh, we also got another copy of uh, The Warriors on Xbox. Not only is this a great game, but this is a, an amazing movie. Definitely recommend it. What else we got in here? Oh man, this is like a hidden gem. This is one of those games that they definitely need to remaster uh, and, and remake. <laughs> True Crime, New York City. Awesome game for the Xbox right here. Uh, we also got uh, Top Spin and NCAA Football 2005. I believe this came with the Xbox bundled up. Um, we got some more Xbox games. We got an NBA Live 07. We got a Namco Museum 50th Anniversary. And we have a Tony Hawk's Underground 2. I believe this is my entire uh, Xbox game collection growing up right here. These were all my games for the Xbox. But anyway, there's a lot more stuff in here. <laughs> uh, right off top. We got a very clean Dreamcast, a.k.a. one of the best consoles of all time, in my opinion. It's either one or two right behind or next to the Xbox 360. Uh, we got a clean Dreamcast controller, white. What else we got? We got a clean blue one. Nice. We also got a Game Gear with the battery pack and if you had a game gear you definitely needed this thing because double a batteries are expensive and they only lasted maybe no lie like you lucky if you got about an hour and a half like that's not even an over exaggeration and in here i actually got a game it's a uh, poker face paul's blackjack game gear what else we got we got an atari 2600 bruh man i told you this might be one of the greatest mystery boxes ever we got in here we got uh looks like an xbox cords oh you 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 new school gamers know nothing about this right here yeah i know nothing about that right there that's pretty much how you uh plug up your atari to your tv back in the day uh what is oh we got the first ever 64-bit console, a Jaguar. A Jaguar? What the hell is a Jaguar? <laughs> uh, man, I remember getting this at KB Toy Stores uh, probably for about uh, 50 bucks back in the day. We also got a Super Nintendo. This is my original one, by the way. Nice and yellow. Ooh, Super Nintendo ain't yellow. And if anyone knows how to like make that a little bit more whiter, let me know. What else we got in here? Bubble wrap. We have a Sony PlayStation with a memory card in there. But let me tell you a fun fact about this PlayStation. Now I bought this PlayStation off somebody back in high school and I bought it off him for 20 bucks. Reason why I got it so cheap was Basically, this PlayStation back in the day, it was missing screws, it was dirty, like to him, it was a hunk of junk, and it really was a hunk of junk, because like I said, it was legit like missing screws, like he thought it didn't work, but I put some screws in it, cleaned it up, I showed it to him the next day, boy was he mad, selling this to me for only 20 bucks. <laughs> yeah, that's my PlayStation. I didn't grow up with a PlayStation, this was years, years after the PlayStation already came out, we were well into the PlayStation 2 era. But um, I wanted a PlayStation, so I bought it off him. 
We got some Atari controllers for the 2600. Man, two big power blocks. I'm glad this these days are over. <laughs> Another Atari 2600 controller. If uh, anyone wants to play two player. Uh, we also got the remote for uh, the original Xbox. Funny thing about this, man, is another thing. The original Xbox can play DVDs, but you couldn't actually play or watch DVDs without buying this remote. Like, that's crazy. They could never in their life get away with something like this now. But yeah, original remote. And here is my original first ever... NES console, clean. What else we got in this box? Tons of good stuff. Here is a Nintendo 64. Man, am I telling you this might be the greatest box ever? <laughs> it's a Nintendo 64. And this actually isn't my original Nintendo 64. I remember I got my Nintendo 64 on my 13th birthday and um, I remember my first one died, and I believe it died on me because I called Nintendo back when they had, an, right as you see right here, the uh, Nintendo Repair Center. They said my, my 64 died because I had a third-party controller, and they were like, third-party uh, accessories messed up your console, also voided your warranty, so I ended up having to take it to a Nintendo Repair Center. They gave me another 64. I remember that 64 eventually broke. I got a third 64. I, I went through a lot of 64s. Um, but yeah, short, long story short, I never ever used third party stuff ever again because I, I figured it broke your console. <laughs> um, what else we got in here? Oh, we got some Atari games. We got some Asteroids. What else we got in here? We got uh, Miss Pac-Man. As you see, you got, the, uh, well, you can't see, but I got the Pac-Man arcade in the background. You can check out my other videos. A centipede. These games are classics. What else we got? We got a pole position. Another great Atari game. Yes, they did make great Atari games. We have before the Connect, the original Xbox 360 camera that everyone pretty much bought uh, back in the day. To play Uno back in the day on Xbox 360, when people played Uno, they went on camera. Now nowadays, you can't even people to go on a mic, let alone a camera. That's how awesome Xbox Live used to be back in the day. It sucks how it sucks now because <laughs> people don't go on mics. Uh, what else we got in this box? Another power brick for. Um, I'm not sure what console in. They were never labeled. And last but not least, we got this heavy, huge Xbox that I'm going to be honest with you. As you've seen the Xbox game collection, it's not huge. I didn't really spend a lot of time playing this thing. So the thing is pretty minty, pretty fresh. Man, I don't know about you guys, but I would love to have a modded Xbox. I know like people mod these things and they put every single game possible known to man whether it's all the Xbox games, all the NS, NES games, Super Nintendo games. I've always wanted a modded Xbox. I think they're just so cool. Especially ones when people do like clear cases and they light up and stuff. But yeah, that is this mystery retro, I guess retro gaming box in my opinion. is by far the best box I showed you guys yet. If you like these type of videos, make sure to subscribe for future videos. Definitely go on my previous videos because I got tons of these videos opening up these boxes with all this cool stuff. Uh, make sure to leave a comment, subscribe. Also, please hit that notification bell because apparently that's something you need to do on YouTube. But yeah, but I love doing these I love doing these videos. I'm gonna keep doing these videos. And like, like I said, I think this was the best one yet because there was a lot of cool ass stuff in here. And no one has to be, be uh, complaining about me dropping anything or throwing stuff around in this video because I know people complain about that in previous videos. <laughs> but anyway, make sure to subscribe for future videos. Uh, follow me on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram, especially on Instagram. I post a lot of pictures, all this stuff as well. Uh, until next time, it's me, Blake, doing six. Peace.